my name is Farah and I live here with my husband Elong and our two fur babies Pebbles and Bam Bam. We have lived here for about two years now and it's our first home as a couple. Because we are obsessed with Bali and love the look of New York lofts, we went with a mix of Balinese and industrial styles for our space. The brick wall is an original. Our ID peeled back the outer layer of the wall to reveal the bricks, which we decided to retain as an homage to the loft style. There are a lot of DIY aspects to our home. For instance, we painted arches in the vinyl lepak corner of our study room. We also covered our cement screed flooring with epoxy paint to make it easier to clean and to add a little bit of sheen. One of the biggest things we did though was to turn our balcony into a playground for our cats. Since the balcony has a good view of the outside world, we figured Pebbles and Bam Bam would appreciate their very own National Geographic. All the equipments were purchased from Taobao and we drilled them onto the walls ourselves. The kitchen's my favourite spot in the house. It's a one-wall layout and comes with open shelves in lieu of upper cabinets. We prefer a look that is less top-heavy and took inspiration from posts on Pinterest. No upper cabinets also mean we get to display some of our prettier wares on the shelves. I would say our house is a never-ending project. We are always adding to it, bringing in new trends and upgrading our space to make it better. We recently did a smart home system because we are actually quite lazy about minor inconveniences like switching on the lights. It relies mainly on Google Home and Samsung Smart Things. Our favorite aspect about it is that we can get almost everything automated just by using a simple voice command. Hey Google. Turn on slides and fan. The idea of a home gym came up during Circuit Breaker. Because of all the restrictions at the time and also because we were staying at home a lot more, I thought having a home gym at home would be more convenient. It would also help save us some money in the long run. Beside this equipment, which I mainly got from Taobao, I also added rubber mats on the floor for shock absorption and also to lessen the noise impact for our downstairs neighbour. Our bedroom comes with an open concept walk-in wardrobe, which we set behind black framed glass panels. The downside to this is that it can look a little bit messy if we don't keep a lid on how much clothes we buy, but the upside is how open and bright everything looks. Home improvement is a never-ending journey for us. We tried our best to bring Bali home since travelling isn't exactly feasible right now. Every day seems like a vacation even though we are at home and have absolutely no issues with being the homebodies that we are. <laughs> <laughs>